Okay, so in the lucky one, the Taylor Swift, we've got uh, two new chords. We've got a C sharp minor, which is right here at the fourth fret, and we can either play it as four strings, or you can take this first finger and do what they call a bar, and all the way across, but just five strings. But notice it, it doesn't change much, it's just the first finger moves, so it's either, either one. You can either put it here or there. Same thing with the B chord. We got four strings, the second fret, four, 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 two, or we could bar that all the way across like your finger becomes the capo, and that's the uh, B. To work with that, just try taking that first finger, pressing down, try to be right up against the fret, but not on top of it, right? There's a little like groove in there. You can kind of, it's easier to press down then, right? And get all those notes. And then of course, having the thumb pressing behind the neck, that helps with that because it's got to press into that part of, part of the finger that needs to press down, right? That's the, that's the tricky part is getting that part to, to sound out instead of a, that thing. And then that's easy. The strum is just two times on E, two times on C sharp minor, Either A or A sus, B, D, and that's the whole verse part. And that just it just starts over. That's all it is. The A sus is just an A chord without the uh, ring finger, the open second string. Real beautiful chord, right? It sounds pretty good. And then uh, that happens on the pre-chorus, and it just strums, and they, it's for two measures. One, two, three, four, two, two, three. Four, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Then we're on the chorus right there, and that's that's right into the chorus. So that's uh, just that part of the song. The rest of it's pretty easy. So listen to it and uh, give it give it a try. I think it should be pretty easy by this point. Cool.